Alright guys, how's it going? And welcome to episode 3 of my Football Manager 18 online career with Liverpool Football Club. Last episode, we got the Premier League kick-started with a 5-1 win against Swansea City. A great win there. We can have a look at the table here. We are currently in first. Manchester City follows closely behind in second. Huddersfield, surprisingly, was the only team to keep a clean sheet in that first round. And... They are in third, Manchester United is in fourth, tied with Stoke and Tottenham as well. This episode we got a little bit coming, if we have a look at our fixtures, obviously we had quite a lot of pre-season games, we only lost to Ross County, it wasn't even my fault. But this episode we have a couple of important games, we have our Champions Cup place-off games against Club Bruges. We will be watching those, but I won't be showing you the Crystal Palace match, but these Club Bruges games are going to be very important. So let's just get into the episode. All right, so we have our first little bit of transfer news for the episode here. Joe Gomez is set to go on loan to Stoke. Looks like he has agreed a deal to go there. Not too bad. He's going until the end of the season. We'll be sorely missed, but we are getting 160k per month and 128k if he isn't used. But they have said he was going to be a key player as well, so I'd love to see how he goes throughout the season. So, I mean, we're going to make a parting comment to him. Um, passionate. Um, going out in line is a great opportunity for you to showcase your skills and help secure yourself a better contract. Yes, I think it will provide me the opportunity to fly for five in my place. Okay. That's great to hear. Joe is happy with that and will go ahead and accept that. Great to see go, um, Joe go out on loan, and hopefully he can progress further. Alright guys, so we have our first Champions League playoff maps. This one is against Club Bruges. Lineup, not many changes. Not We still want to keep a very, very strong team because we want to make sure that this game is a win. So up front, Bobby's come out of the lineup. He's gone onto the bench. We've gone with Danny Ings up top. Otherwise, Mane, Coutinho and Salah stay the same. I've opted out of Leon Goretzka at the advanced playmaker and put Vijnaldum in there. Goretzka's a little tired, so Vijnaldum's going to work in there. Otherwise, the back four is the same. Robertson, De Vrij, Matip and Alexander-Arnold. And I've swapped in Simon Mignolet for Loris Karius. Pretty, pretty good lineup, I think. I think we've got a very good chance of winning. We've got Karius, Moreno, Lovren, Emre Chan, Goretzka, Oxlade, Chamberlain and Firmino on the bench. All right, so we are here in the match. Lineup for Club Bruges, quite defensive, going with a 4-4-2 defensive with the two DMs there. I think we should get the win here. Make sure that the players are pumped up. Mane is looking to gain confidence, so I reckon we can get a good win here. We are ready for the match, and it's kickoff. Nice little play here from Club Bruges, but Matip's there to take it out. Vinalda will hold on to that one. Mane already getting a shot off in the second minute. Look at that possession, 81% to Liverpool. We're absolutely dominating already. For Coutinho's offside, and we have our first highlight, Alexander-Arnold to Coutinho, to Vinalda into Salah. Loses it out, but Robertson will regain. Bring it out the wing, early cross, tackled. It's Coutinho. It's Alexander Arnold. Final with the long shot. Oh, just over. Bit. Just over. Coutinho. Nakamba. Nice tackle by Salah. Passing to Alexander Arnold. Vijnaldum running it up the right-hand side. Crossing it into Salah. To Coutinho. He scores. Phil Coutinho scoring the first goal. Assisted by Mohamed Salah. That's 1-0 after 13 minutes. Great play there by the men in red. It's a good start as well. We are playing at home. So getting the goals is important. But keeping, keeping the Belgian side... Goalless is definitely the key to this match, as away goals are definitely important if we go there and we fail. But Mane is off with another shot, which is good. 
absolutely dominating this game, as you can see. Aim is no yellow card for this match as well. You don't want to be risking anyone. But yeah, we're absolutely on top of this game so far. Quite a lot of offsides I've seen though, which is not the greatest, but as long as we get the win in the end, I think it's alright. Still a little while between between highlights here. Seems like we're still on top of it though. Ten shots, five on target, five fouls, sixty-five percent possession. Very, very quiet first half after that Coutinho goal is just looking to absolutely just control this first half. But here we go, Coutinho brings it into Vinaldum. Danny Ings, Salah, oh, he's just put that one wide. Just wide there from, from Mo Salah. Probably should have put that one in. There's a nice little play back from Ings there, just putting it in the path of Salah. But... Nevertheless, Coutinho bring another one over to Vinaldum. Coutinho will win that one back. Oh! Oh, wow, that was extremely close. Nearly got upper echelons in that left-hand side there. Just making sure that everyone has good condition as well. We're not wanting anyone to... to die here, because we have that Crystal Palace game midweek. But we're going into half-time up 1-0 through that Coutinho goal. Um, are we going to make any changes? Um, Coutinho is on an 80 already, which is disappointing. I mean, the defense is start of slowly, slowly going out. Um, I'm going to hold off for a bit. I'm going to make sure that we are all healthy. Um, Henderson's looking a little stressed, unfortunately. But I'm going to look to bring on bring it more defensive as well maybe look to get that second goal if we can get it we'll go a lot more defensive because a two goal lead was definitely important mm. yep yeah. same old same old just dominating this game by the looks of it putting all our play through the middle you can see there 53 percent about 20 odd percent either side so very central play, definitely a good style, playing it outside to the wingers and then cutting it back in towards our strikers. Ork having a shot, either or. Coming up to 60 minutes here, not a lot happening. I'm going to make a small substitution and I'm going to bring on Firmino for Ings. Just a nice little substitution there. Ings obviously getting a little bit tired. But his Salah pushing forward. Penalty? He has, he has. He's given it a penalty. Alexander Arnold is the penalty taker. He'll put his foot over the ball, hopefully into the back of the net as well. So let's pray. It's got a hand on it from Horvath, but Alexander Arnold has put that one in. And that is going to cause us to go a little bit defensive now as well. If we can get the tactics up. That was his first ever Liverpool goal as well, and I think it was similar in the um, in the um, Hoffenheim game. I think that Alexander Arnold scored that free kick, which caused him to to get his first Liverpool goal, which was in essence very good. I'm gonna try and play Oxide Chamberlain through the centre, actually. I know he's not an attacking midfielder per se, but I'd like to play him through the centre here behind Firmino because he's definitely a class player. The analysis as well. Um, still hand out it. He's off those tackles and let's pump that ball into the box. Going a little bit more defensive this time as well. Bring on Emre Chan for Vinaldum, Pushing them back so we have two defensive midfielders instead of Vinaldum just being that central midfielder. About 13 minutes left in the match. It's looking like we're, uh, we're going to get the win here. Pretty pretty simple game. They haven't even got a shot on target yet. So Mignolet hasn't really been tested. Whereas they have a highlight here. Just playing it wide. Nice little ball inside. Nice little one-two. He's going to whip this one in. De Vrij clears that one quite well. 
but they win it back. Another pumped in one. Nice tackle there. But they're going to keep pumping them in. De Vry will play this one out to Mane. Nice ball to Firmino, to Oxide chamberlain Poor pass to Nakamba there. A pump it forward again. Oh, he's pushed that one wide. Big chance there for Club Bruges. That would have been an away goal as well. Can't lose out on those away goals, I don't think. Oxide chamberlain nice ball to Firmino. Free kick there. I think, looks like Emre Chan's going to be the one who's going over the free kick. Class has been sent off. That's his second yellow for the match, so they have a red card. That's definitely going to put them out of the match now. It's basically hopeless for them. They just don't want to concede anymore, so they'll probably go a little bit more defensive. Otherwise, they'll just go all out attack, but risking that third goal is going to make it absolutely impossible for, for them to win that game. We've got four minutes of added time. Off target shot there from Firmino. Horvath punts this one forward. Robertson will gain that one. Plays a short pass to Mane. Mane's running. Hits off Oxlade Chamberlain there, but Alexander Arnold will pick up the scraps. Punting it forward to Henderson. Out to Salah on the right. Back into Oxlade Chamberlain in the center. To Mane on the wing. Cuts this one over. Salah. Ooh, nice save there from Horvath. That third goal would have been quite nice, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. Nice header there from De Vrij, though. Again from Emre Chan. Can we get this ball back? Passing it back inside. Emre Chan with the tackle. Beautiful one. Playing it wide to Mohamed Salah. Back into Oxide chamberlain Wide to Mane. Back into Oxide chamberlain to Salah. To Henderson. Oxide chamberlain Playing it wide to Mane. Bring it back inside to Emre Chan. Back into Ox. Play it wide to Alexander Arnold. Poor pass there. Club Bruges will pass it clear, but Emre Chan will pick it up. Mane whipping one in. Clear there from Club Bruges. And that will be the full time whistle. So a 2 0 win there for Liverpool. The goals from Philippe Coutinho and that penalty from Trent Alexander Arnold. Jordi Classy was sent off in the 82nd minute. We had 29 shots, 12 on target, 12 fouls, 2 yellow cards, and 63% possession. I think that was a great win, definitely putting us in the hot seat for that Champions League spot. Right guys, so we have another piece of transfer news here. Ben Woodburn is set to move to Tottenham on loan. Decided to loan him out. Um, James, obviously the um, manager of Tottenham. He said he's going to play him. His squad status is only a rotation, but... We are getting 250k a month there, or if he doesn't play. He's taking 100% of his playing wages as well, so I was quite happy with that. And he has an optional future fee of 40 million, so I'm not exactly sure if that's good or not, but definitely let me know in the comment section down below if you think that was a good transfer move, but we will accept that. Hopefully Ben does have a good, good season at Tottenham, and we'll see if Jam does want him at the end of the season. Alright guys, so we've just finished the Crystal Palace match. As you can see, the result, pretty favourable. 4-1 win for Liverpool. Mohamed Salah with a hat-trick. Just cheekily getting it in the 89th minute with that penalty. Bobby Firmino scoring one in the 79th minute. And Jeffrey Schluck getting a consolation goal in the 90th plus one minute. Would have loved to keep the clean sheet, but unfortunately we couldn't for this match. Uh, picked up a couple of yellow cards, which was disappointing. Overall, we had less possession, but um, attack-wise, we were so much more better. Um, yeah, Salah 9.5. Ox didn't, came on, didn't really do much, which was alright. But yeah, that's a really, really good game for us. That's two wins in a row now. What was the first one was 5-1, the second one 4-1. Definitely more to come in the future. Uh, we'll get ready for the second leg of the Champions League playoffs. Alright guys, so we're here with the second leg of the Champions Cup up against Club Bruges. We won the first round 2-0, that was at Anfield. This time we are playing in Belgium. It's going to be a difficult game, I think. Um, we're going to go with a pretty similar lineup, I think. Just a couple of changes considering we are already winning. Literally all we need to do is just not concede two goals. I mean, it doesn't really matter, all we need to do is just win. Um, 
We're going to give Dominic Solanke a run in here, actually. We're going to play him up top. And I'm going to throw Daniel Sturridge on the bench. I think he deserves... Well, he's just coming back from his injury as well, so I think he deserves a little bit of time. Play Alberto Moreno right at left back. Uh, we even got a right back for Alexander Arnold, so he's going to be playing a little bit more game time than he wants to. Um, other than that, I'm going to play Emery Chan in that defensive midfield position. I'm liking the front three. Um, okay, so Oxford Chandler can't play in the center attacking midfield position. Um, training can I... No, that's fine, okay. Well, um, we'll do that afterwards. I'm going to see if we can get him to train in the center attacking midfield position as well. Uh, who's playing well? I just sat here, Mane and Sala. We'll play Oxlade Chamberlain on the left with Mane. I think that's all right. And we'll play Van Alden in there as well. Just do a lot of changes around, I think. Getting players in and out. Trying to give more players some more game time. I like keeping the defense very similar to what it is. Not changing too much, but I may as well just go ahead and do a whole team change for this match because we're doing exceptionally well. Um, we haven't really got anyone to play there is my real problem. Um, Mark Agrooge is injured, so he can't play. Um... No, uh, that's it. That's literally all we can do. We'll go with that. Play, play Dominic Slanky up top. Alexander Arnold will don the armband. Should be, should be an interesting match. I think, definitely a, a good one. Give some game time to Slanky. Make sure he proves his worth. Yeah, I've always been highest. Yep, yeah, that's what it was. All right, so here's the game. We got to win this one. Got a couple of people seeming motivated, so let's let's get this win. Let's get ourselves into the Champions League. There's Moreno running up the left, keeps it in, but poor pass to Oxlade Chamberlain. Lovren gets that one back off and get past the Demo Chan. Nice passing around here. Play it wide to Moreno. Whips an early one in. Oh, we got a penalty, and Mo Salah will be taking it. Not sure what that was for. Let's see if Mo Salah can slot this one in. That'll definitely change the game. He does. Mo Salah makes it 1-0 already. We get the away goal. That's his fifth goal of the season. What a start by Liverpool. We'll, we'll be bringing him off early. I want to play him in the Leicester game as well. Rocky might don a couple of different um, formations as well. I'll see if I can get Oxide chamberlain in the centre. Just rotate the team a little bit more around. We'll get Milner on. Just some players that aren't usually getting game time. I mean, it's the Champions League altogether. I mean, Club Bruges need to score three goals to even get considered into this match. So, a big ask for them, but I'm not going to rule it out. Anything's possible. Oxide Chamberlain with the mistake there. Nice punt forward. Vinaldum will get that one. There's Lovren to Vinaldum. To Coutinho, nice ball over the top to Salah. Pushing it forward, nice pass, Oxlade Chamberlain makes it too. Great pass there from Salah. Oxlade Chamberlain puts that one in with no problem. Nice goal for him, definitely deserved. Playing out in the left flank, not his usual position, usually plays on the right. Beautiful pass from Coutinho there, and Salah just keeps running. Plays across the box, and Oxlade just taps that one in. Well deserved. Salah with this one goal and one assist. He's on fire this season so far. Definitely our player of the season at the moment. Moreno and Lovren have both picked up yellow cards, which I'm not particularly pleased about. Nice ball over the top to Oxlade. Whips it in. Solanke hits the post. Salas though. Ooh. We'll get the throw in, but Solanke's got to get himself on the scoring sheet. And I think he's going to get full 90 minutes here too. Nice win there by Lovren. Slanky gets it. Nice pass out to Salah. Early crossover to Oxlade. Runs at him. We'll get the corner there. Horvath with the save. Coutinho will be over the ball here. Whipping that one in. Poor one, but Salah's there. Hits it. Oof. Is that a corner? It is. Coutinho will be taking this one again. 
nothing came of it. Yeah, good little bit of play here. Got the 2-0 lead, definitely got Bruges out of the game here. Like, there's no chance that they will be playing at all. Oxide Chamberlain and Salah are playing out of their minds at the moment. Nice interception from Moreno. Nice pass out of Oxide Chamberlain. Pushing forward, passes it to Salah, to Vinaldum. Nice crossfield ball to Alexander Arnold. Whips one in, Coutinho. Ooh, just over the bar there from Phil Coutinho. Should have really been a third there. He unfortunately misses. Not much happening anymore. Here we go, we've got another highlight. Alexander Arnold to Chan. Into Vinaldum to Solanke. Has a shot. Just, just wide. I mean, we're up 4 0 on aggregate. It's pretty amazing. Vorma to Palacios. Back to Vorma. Running cross field. Passes it to Vorsen. In comes the ball. They've scored their first goal. Is it a comeback? Mera thinks so. He's running back. Nice ball in. A little pass there from Simmons. Wasn't the day to be for Mignolet, and he concedes. Would have liked to keep the clean sheet, but unfortunately we didn't. Mignolet conceding already. Really need a new goalkeeper, don't we? We do still have a little bit of time left in at the transfer window, so we could be able to pick up a goalkeeper. We've got about 10 million left. But we're just about to hit half time in this game. We're obviously up 4 1 on aggregate, 2 1 in this game. We're playing away as well, so it's pretty good. And there we go, we've hit half time. Salah and Oxlade Chamberlain with the goals. Dominating the game again 14 shots, 6 on target, 8 fouls, 2 yellow cards, and 57% possession. Now, I'm going to be doing a big swap around here. And let's push him back there, chuck him in the center. If we move Solanke there, Oxide Chamberlain there. We'll play a 4 1 2 and 2 diamond sort of thing. Play Oxlade Oxl in that attacking midfield position. Salah will come off, this time for Daniel Sturridge. Um, I think swap that and we'll make Solanke a. Target man. Um, attack. Other than that, um, could play a wide one actually. Play Oxlade here as a wide mid. Play Fine Island on the left a bit more. Um, other than that, there's not much more we can really do here. The bench is pretty, pretty low. I'm going to drop him back there. No, we're going to go back to this one. The one I wanted to do originally. Unfortunately. Come on, Varnaldum, you can move. I'm going to keep it that way, but we're going to bring James Milner on for Phil Coutinho. Give him a bit of a break. He's been playing pretty much every game. Um, other than that... Oh, I think that's it. That's good enough for the first half, I think. Give them a little bit more time couple of switches around just just two I'm usually big on the three saves but I'm trying to get Alex Oxide Chamberlain to be in that attacking midfield position just so it's really easy for changes so you can play pretty much everywhere except for up top but why are we losing out in the midfield let's change our mentality don't really need to go attacking let's go control and now we'll go flexible still Vorma, playing it back to Horvath, to Mira, playing it to Diaby, nice tackle there, Van Alden will get that, plays it to Sturridge, Toxo Chamberlain, poor pass there, Vorma will get it, to Wesley, into Van Axen, Vossen, in, he scored his second, four, they're having a comeback here, this isn't good, this is not good, um, that's not what we wanted. Vossen scoring past Mignolet there. That's disappointing. We're still going to make the tactical changes though. Maybe we're going to have to go a little bit more defensive. We might have to go five at the back, which is not ideal. We'll be taking off Oxlade Chamberlain though, playing 5 3 2, I think. Wesley playing it to Diaby. To Vossen into Wesley. Um, okay, we're making subs. 
We are changing our tactics here. This is not good. This is not good at all. We are playing five at the back here. Oxide Chamberlain coming in here. He will be swapped with Joel Matip. That's not cool. That is not what I wanted. I did not want that. We'll have to go definitely a lot more defensive. Pretty much nearly park the bus. Um, I was not expecting this from Club Bruges, to be honest. I mean, it is their, it is their home game, but nevertheless... Um, one goal will still go through on away goals, but there's still 30 minutes left. They could bring two goals in this game, but you would have thought that bringing Matip on would have would have changed that. We're getting more possession. Hopefully we can hold out for another 20 minutes. This was not the game I was considering that was going to happen. Definitely a pretty poor half from the boys. I was thinking after that first eight minutes, I was thinking it was going to be a pretty breezy game. Obviously, we're up 2 0. And come the stroke of half time. Obviously, a big chat from Club Bruce. They want to be in the, in the um, Champions League as well, but I don't think it's going to be their day anymore. Could be, but hopefully, it isn't. Conditions a little bit lower. I think that's. Contain. It's going to be very structured as well. Highly structured. Um, take a breather. Pass into space. Retain possession. Don't run at defence. That's pretty much what we're going to do. Here we go. Emre Chan. Second yellow. Emre Chan is off. Wow. What a what a half this is. Emre Chan is off. Solanke is injured. Um, it's not, it's not the half we wanted. For some reason it's paused. Why is this happening? Why is it paused? Hello? <laughs> Hi. Why is it paused? Is, is yours... Let me leave the match now. Is yours paused? I said it was waiting for you. Oh, mine's just paused. I'll leave... Okay. <laughs> this is... A little bit of technical errors here. I mean, Emre Chan just did just get sent off. Not very good. Seems I can't tell... Play. Oh, there we go. Nope, it's paused again. Okay. Nope, it's paused again. Are we going? Yep, we are, we're going again, yep. We're going. Oh, we've got a corner though. Whipping it in. That is the full-time whistle. That was a hectic match. Clo Oh, I was not predicting that. I mean, after that eight minutes, that goal from that goal from Oxlade Chamberlain, I thought that was pretty much the match, but they didn't seem to think so. At least we had those two away goals as well, so that probably would have kept us in the match. Anyway, that's where we are going to leave the episode for today. Definitely go and check out Jam's video as well. His link is in the description down below. But make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell to get episode 4. See you later.